Hey, what's going on everybody? Physio Trader here. Want to jump into a little bit of a recap on the day. Overall, ending the day, red minus $12.37. Now for commissions, probably going to be close to 50. I did trade quite a bit today. I'm trying to get myself out of a hole, but turns out my, you know, my initial suspicion was right. There was just no follow through with anything. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So... All right, so over here we've got Neo. Neo has gapped down quite a bit on us, and uh, well, not quite a bit. I'm sorry. Neo's gapped down, um, but we're making a push right into the 50 and the 200 moving average. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually I go short. I think I only go short like uh, 100 or 200 shares, really small position size here. But I'm just looking for a little bit of a bounce, just a pullback off of the um, the the moving average here, thinking that. Um, let's see. I don't remember when it. So I get in right there at fifty, thinking the the you know the half dollar is going to help me out. Thinking we're going to get a little bit of a pushback here, um, and then at this point, um, just kind of watching the level twos to see. Now, I don't know where this thing is headed, so I don't want to get caught into something just watching this thing go way against me. So at some point. I was thinking, you know, what might, you know, what am I looking? Forty-one was an area I'd plotted out previously as being a resistance and an upward channel or a downward channel, but I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, that's forty cents more that I have to endure, and I like that candle that's starting to form right now. I'm really liking that candle. So at this point, I'm actually thinking, do I want to short some more? So. Um, do I want to, you know, add to the position? But to me, the answer is still no. I think it would have had to have gone, you know, a little more sideways for a while, um, or you know, a little bit more strength to the downside. But I'm liking this. I'm really liking 4030 as a as a mitigation area. It's only 19 cents, but I'm I am liking it at a at a point here. And so now we just we wait and see. I don't have any orders yet, so you can see it minus 200 shares. Um, uh, the price I was in at 40.49, you could see it here. But anytime, um, you know, right here, if I'm in something, it'll say what I'm in. Um, now I like that candle. I don't like this candle very much, so I'm shorting. So I need the price to go down to make money. If I have to buy this back more expensive than 40.49, I'm losing money on the trade. So I don't like this. I don't like this spike up. It's not looking good anymore. You know, what that looked like it was just taking a, a break, you know, coming down and going to retrace down back to the downside. Now it looks like this was just taking a little breath before it shoots back to the upside. Watching the buyers, watching the sellers, and I end up getting out for a $27 loss. Very small, like I said, I, I protected my risk via position size. You know, had I gone in with, you know, 10 times the share, it would have been 10 times the loss. Um, and this little win right here where I was green on the trade was not enough for me to risk. You know, I, I can't keep taking these little, you know, four or five dollar trades and, uh, you know, trying to take profit off of that. That wasn't worth the risk. And at that point, um, oh, so I just realized that when I sold that and see, I even forgot now when I sold it, for some reason, I hot keyed out three quarters of the position and not 100 uh, percent. I just I hit the wrong button. I intended on getting out the whole thing. So um, where I was getting out, um, what I thought I was getting out, so I was actually, you know, what, 20, 30, 38, something like that. Um, not $27, but like a $28, $38 loss. Um, and that was, you know, just poor management. I, you know, that, I want to say it doesn't happen, but I guess I'm either still a rookie or, or what have you, because that was, that was the uh, not fun. So this time, once again, we came back down, we took another breath, but now I'm thinking that this thing is, it's really trying to make some upsided move. So I'm actually going long 500 shares uh, at this point, seeing if we could get another breakout. But again, I'm in the money now. I'm in the money five cents, you know, $25 in the green. Every dollar up, I'm up five bucks or every cent I'm up, I'm up five bucks. Throw out an order to sell uh, just 100 shares at 40.93.
Seems like 4087 is uh, holding us up. 487 and 88 is holding us up, not letting us get any higher. And I really want to take off my first 100 shares, but I don't want to take them off too soon. After we get stuck, I don't want to see this thing go completely against me. I took half off $12.52 back, and I took the remaining for a 12 cent loss. So. I actually do so at this point I'm looking to go long again but what I'm looking at is to see if I can find an area where to go long so I'm gonna bring out the Fibonacci's So I go long again over this, and I'm actually already back out because this thing just folded against me. And now I'm starting to think that this channel is no longer has the strength to go up, and it's going to go down. All right, so taking you over to the uh, the day, essentially traded uh, Palantir, um, traded Palantir, so Palantir, Gap down, showed some strength, came back down. I shorted um, 500 shares at 26.61. This thing was starting to go against me, and I was like, okay. And then right here, I threw out an order, and um, I did not get filled at this point. I did not get filled. I actually think I was trading on two minutes at that time. Yeah, I was definitely trading on two minutes. So, um, shorted here. Uh, the lowest it went was 50, 54. I actually had an order out to take off half the position at 54 uh, just because how slow this thing was moving. And I, I just didn't get filled. I was on the ass the whole time. I never got filled. Came back up. At this point, you know, the highs were really starting to show that it was, you know, going to hold. And like I said, these are two minutes. This was watching paint dry. I was so annoyed. Um, at that point, uh, I actually threw out a stop. And, uh, you know, order entry came back. This thing was just coming back down, coming back down. At that point, I decided to add another 400. Um, I added another 400 shares. I tried to add another 500, but um, just four of them got filled. So I was up 900 shares. And then, um, and then at this point, I just closed them all out 900 for just a $17 uh, winning trade. This thing, I, I just didn't have time. I didn't have the patience for it. And then lo and behold, it eventually would have, you know, triggered my stop before it ever triggered my uh, my buy order. So that's OK. And then, um, you know, eventually it, it did finally roll over. Uh, not even a lot. It just kind of channeled sideways, which I guess is good for that. So next up, AMC. AMC has been all over the place and. Uh, you know, so here's the, uh, so I've got these on two minute candles because that's what I was trading on. This thing went down, shot right back up. Nothing could stop it. At this point, I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to short AMC. I just, I don't feel comfortable with it because of how, you know, observed it is. And so just looking for little scalps, uh, took a couple losing trades on it. Um, on this one, I think it was down like 10, 20 bucks. And then on this one, it's just buying the dip, buying the dip, buying the dip, um, waiting for it to show me a little bit of consolidation and um, kept buying, buying, sold out here, ended up going long 800 shares. And then on this, 
this little number right here, I was just scaling out, ended up walking away 28, 28 on the trade. Um, it ended up going like another 10 cents in my favor, which would have been, you know, close to $80 had I, you know, hit it perfectly, um, $80 or less. So again, nothing really to, to write home about, but this thing, it, it just, it fell apart. It was starting a downward channel. There was no way I was going to hold it through all of this. So I got out of it and I think it got down in like the low 42s before it decided to, uh, you know, come back to life. So AMC seems to be not the thing to, to day trade that much, maybe swing trade or, or still technically day trade throughout the day. Um, but we'll see. DocuSign. So DocuSign. I played this one. I actually played this as a call. So DocuSign just really had some beautiful movement. Nine, 294 to 315. It was right around this trade right here that I got in for a 310 call and I got in 515 and after seeing this thing just creep against me it was like 309 it didn't even violate it was just 309 just the premium I paid and today is the end of the week end of expiration um, this thing finally showed some life on this candle right here finally felt like we were going to get the move and I, I actually marketed it out market order I tried to get out at 540 that's what was going through the tape and I got out at 515, two contracts. It was a, it was literally a nothing trade, like it was flat. So that's annoying because I was thinking I was gonna get around 60 bucks just on the 30 cent difference, 25, 30, you know, 50, 50 60 bucks on the contract. I should have threw out a limit order. Um, I, I have no doubt in my mind I would have gotten hit because the tape was flipping through saying 350, 340, 350, 355. And I, I don't know, I just, I hit the market button and um and it got me out so that's annoying lesson learned so that is what it is so that's it for me thank you so much for watching like i said really small losing day twelve dollars probably going to be around 50 if you add in commissions when it's all said and done it's annoying it's a grit your teeth day but to be quite honest um i'm pretty happy about days like today you're going to take losing days and I'm happy to walk away with a $50 loss as compared to a $5,000 loss. I've done those before. They don't feel very good. They certainly make you mad. They make you upset. Um, and it doesn't lead to a long sustaining career as a trader, as an investor, or even in the financial markets in any way, shape, or form. So I'll take the small loss. I'll get prepared for uh, next week. Next week's a short week. Monday, we're going to be off for the holiday. Thank you so much for watching. I will catch you all next time.